Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. Ooh. You shut the fuck up. Don't, don't fuck with her. Samantha. I will have to end you. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are I didn't okay? do it for you. You think I need help from you? God, you're such you're a dick. I hate you're him right. so much. Can you go? Thanks for sticking up for him. Mm, uh, somewhere People else. People think just because of his family. I was on neither of them side. They were kind of both jerks. Everything okay here? <laughs> you showed up a little no late. No problem, Skip. Look at his saunter. I got a journal and a message from mom. <gasps> Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. <gasps> Excuse me. Love you. I want to respond. All right. Who'd we get? We got Drew. Drew North is Mikey's older brother, and the two of them couldn't be more different. Drew is a legit jock, like the type that spends hours a day in the gym and has nicknames for his biceps. I've never been... A Bigfoot's game, but yeah, here he's actually really good at throwing stuff into other stuff or whatever. <laughs> Goes into that. <laughs> Mikey told me that Drew is planning to go to college on an athlete or athletic scholarship, which is good because their family is even poorer than mine. Their dad was one of the fishermen who lost his job because of the Prescott Corporation. As you might imagine, this put Nathan on Drew's shit list. Not a good list to be on. In the war between a meathead and a shithead, does anyone win? Anyway, I don't think Drew is really a bad guy. I just, I guess I wouldn't know him. Or, but I guess I wouldn't know. It's like we exist in two completely different planes of existence that happen to be in the same school. Happy to keep it that way. All right. Nathan Douchecott, where are you? Hate this guy. Nathan Prescott is the golden child of the Prescotts, Arcadia Bay's oldest, wealthiest, and most powerful family, as they love reminding everyone. Nathan's dad does something nautical related. I think he has to do with murdering baby seals and turning them into death rays for the military, but I can't remember the details. Whatever the case, there's a lot of people in this town that hate the Prescotts, including all the fishermen he put out of work. And you do not want to mess with the fishermen. They smell. <laughs> the baby seal has laser beams. Nathan is odd. He's extremely privileged, yet dark and brooding. Even though he's a dick, I can't help feeling bad for him sometimes. I don't feel bad for him at all. He's really just a weird little dude trying to figure out his shit, but he's has to pretend to be all this stuff he's clearly not, like an athlete or a cool kid. You can tell it fucks him up inside. Don't feel bad for him at all. Of course, the best cure for feeling bad for Nathan is to actually talk to Nathan. Then you remember what a wonderfully punchable face those Prescott jeans gave him. Hell yeah. I hate that guy. <laughs> the fuck he said, fight him! Oh man, Sabrina's all feisty tonight. Slap him with the fish. <laughs> Sabrina, you feeling all sorts of feisty? Anti-drug poster, another that one. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Yeah, I was just gonna say that's actually a cool picture. Marijuana cigarettes kill. Oh, look. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence, and by future excellence, I mean mole people. Mole people. All right, we're going to school, friends. Whoa, hello. Oh, good. You're here. She's in a Joker costume. And her face kind of looked like Rachel. But she was way shorter. And her hair wasn't as rad. <laughs> Why are you so feisty, Sabrina? I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating and to your other fellow Oh, she was smiling at him. And most of all, 
to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. I was just gonna say, she's looking this good. Is getting as surreal and as she winked night. at me. Snap. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with. My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? It's goodlier. Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot. <laughs> And we're just going to sit here and just wait for me. <laughs> uh, I would say Miranda's an idiot, but I think uh, Rachel's flirting with me. Miranda's an idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? Twelve? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first considerable in size or quantity. Full of freshmen now. Good leer. Dude, she is sassy. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh. What? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could yeah. you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, Get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't like <laughs> should be doable, right? Oh, everything she just said is totally how I flirt. Don't say anything stupid and don't fall down. Oh, that's hilarious. I freaking love this game. Chloe, you and I would be best friends. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Victoria Chase. Talent. Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for Oh, anything. Rachel Amber. Will suck as Prospera. If Victoria Chase had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent. Is that what got Mr. K to cast you? Oh. Comment. Hell yeah, I'm gonna comment on this. Something snarky. What to say? What to say? She's using fire bitch all the time. <laughs> Slut shaming or bitter much? <laughs> bitter much. <laughs> I like how she's checking. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack. VC. Snap! Ooh, bag. Uh, I, I gotta observe all this real quick. This poster definitely says something. Hey now, sharing is caring. AKA Steph. To internet or not to internet? Hmm. You get it. Props. I guess the Prescott donation Pencil fund. This. If I were weapons. acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for We the got flashing Tempest. lights. <laughs> Some dumb ho. <laughs> oh goodness, sorry. I didn't see uh, some chat. 
Isaac chat now. Some dumb ho. Hey, how's it going? Pay attention to me now. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get some. Uh, I didn't know you were a real person. I thought you were a, like a spam bot real quick. That was just trying to get me to say something bad. But it looks like Sabrina vouched for you. But thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Nom 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 nom. You want one too? Nom nom nom. Good stuff. Hey, Isaac, welcome, welcome. My pants get lonely without my belt. Oh, snap. Apparently, she's responding to me. Uh, we gotta look at these posters real quick. Should be life is drama. But I appreciate you being here. Welcome to the crew. We're playing a little Sweet bit of Life is Strange here. Uh, alright, let's go get her. I'm not gonna internet. Should I internet? What do you guys think? Should I internet? I'm gonna I internet. About this. Uh oh. Most of them are not good feelings. The teacher saw it. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Oh, here we go. Rachel Emper playing Prospera, a newcomer to Blackwell Academy. Rachel Emper blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams, a streetcar named De Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters, fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to be one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. Nathan Prescott, AKA Douchebag, Playing Caliban, a favorite son of the oldest and most influential family of Arcadia Bay, Nathan hopes that the performance of The Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name at the Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with his many friends. Yeah, many friends. He's an ass. Oh, goodness, there's a lot of them. Dana Ward. Playing Miranda. That must have been the other girl that was on the stage. Sophomore Dana has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Dana enjoys football, go Bigfoots, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. <gasps> I think she was the drunk girl at the party in the first one. Hayden Jones playing Ferdinand. This show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He auditioned on a dare, and as it turns out, actually really digs acting. The sophomore, his other interests include playing sports, herbals, Herbals. and taking long walks on the watch on the woods hmm, surprised they let that go up there <laughs> jada gets a treat yes uh mama's is down here she got one too oh this is your boyfriend you told okay i thought so but i didn't want to call it out on stream <laughs> just in case you would be like no shh. but welcome isaac congratulations on uh your new relationship with our dear friend sabrina hi you what are you, doing? you hurt your toe, I know. You chomped it. That's what happens when you chomp on your feet. You need to not do that. Juliet Watson, playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests include journalism and social activism, but she is very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel, the capricious and powerful spirit Prospera has enchanted and bound to do her magical bidding. Travis Keaton, directing. A veteran of Broadway, Travis Wilbur. Oh, Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts mentor and friend. He hopes this humble reinterpretation uh, of Shakespeare's masterpiece Welcome can inspire home. the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never forget his motto, Ars Gratia Artis. Hey! You're my dude! What's going on, my man? Welcome to the stream! How's it going, my man? Stream boss in chat. Mm -mm. Oh, we're getting everyone bopping in now. Okay, The Tempest, uh, nothing is interesting on that page. Okay. Well, I internet, I interneted, uh. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. All right, let's get a, the belt. Oh, look at the adorable little patch. Rachel looks so happy here. Oh, did she lose her dad too? There's Rachel's belt. <laughs> Street boss thing has been around for a so while. I keep thinking about removing Rachel it. Now. But I'm glad you like it, so that may make me keep it. Why does it say flat? You see that? Suck a D. VC Flat Is that a bug? What's flat? Or is that just the name of that? I never did drama club. Is that called a flat? 
Also, did I get her? That's I did, okay. The nicest backpack it's I've right in the corner in of your screen, Vasive. You got the belt. You made me feel important. <laughs> Hey, you like that dumb hoe? I don't know what to call you. I'm, I don't want to get in trouble for uh, on Twitch. I'm gonna I'll just call you Isaac. How about that? Yeah, you were, you've been stream boss a couple times, I believe, Sabrina. Oh, look, she was stretching out. And I was stretching out. More belt. Royal positioning was stolen from me. <laughs> yeah, Fragger was recently uh, dethroned as well. Hello. Must Look at these be sick a outfits. Costumes in here. Hi, hippo. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Some dumb. That's actually that's something. Uh, that's a nickname I call mamas. <laughs> who's this some dumb? Who's this some dumb? Yes. Yo, I love you. I love your hippo dumb head. You're kind of dumpy, but I do love you. Boop, boop. All right, so we gotta go give uh, Rachel this belt. Graffiti. Oh. I Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I don't want to graffiti so everything because one, it might get me in trouble and ruin something. Two, I feel like this is a nice area for Rachel and she likes it, so I kind of don't want to ruin it. But I also want to get all the um the graffiti <laughs> Come on, points. Chloe, I need my belt. It Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Halo for Rachel. Halo for Rachel. Can I just do both? <laughs> I always behave in my own ways. <laughs> what kind of things do I do on stream? Get some ink. Hold on, achievement unlocked. Um, I'm a variety gamer. I pretty much just play different video games, um, and we go through and beat them, and then we start a new game. Uh, we just finished uh, Breath of the Wild last week, and uh, now we're playing through this game and then usually between games we'll play like uh something small like an overwatch kind of thing or i kind of just shoot from the hip <laughs> uh if you want to know what i'll be playing and stuff uh follow on the uh, social accounts uh, i make announcements on when what games are coming up i do polls so people can vote uh this game was the one that won the last vote on what to play also guys the charity stream is a go um, I found back. another. Don't worry. Shh, I'm Only talking. It's all, it's all good. It's all good, Rachel. Um, but I found uh, another uh, charity thing that interacts with Streamlabs that has the fossil organization that I uh, volunteered for. So the charity stream is a go. We're able to donate to them. We're going to be playing uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Um, sometime in the very near future, within the next week or something. It's going to be on a weekend. It's going to be a charity stream. All the donations and stuff are going directly to the charity itself. I'm starting up. I have a whole new charity page d made for it. That's just in the works. Um, but follow on the socials. I'll be posting links on where all the information and stuff is coming from. Um, but I'm super excited. I'm crazy excited, guys. You don't even know. It's something I've wanted to do on the channel for the longest time. And uh, we're now able to finally do it. Oh, there's a note. I'm going to guess it's from... Logan. Danny, you're very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I would be into that. Logan, guess who? Logan, guess who? Nice. Oh, another one. <laughs> Sometimes Where are all the pencils? I know it was you, Hayden. <laughs> uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bring it to her. Uh... Throw the belt over. It's gonna bonk her in the head. Here you go. Ow! <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit. Sorry. Ah! Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last I'll catch up on chat once they're done amazing. talking. Uh, getting attacked was amazing. Yeah, Firewalk was pretty cool. Uh, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce. Look show. at her eyes, dude. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, 
Why? Why does it have to end? <laughs>